Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is, Come As You Are. Beloved family, our text says, Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. Isaiah 1, 18. There is a popular saying in religion that says, quote, Come as you are, end quote. While the concept of come as you are, if taught and understood correctly, is biblical. However, the phrase come as you are is not found in scripture. I know that some of you may be shocked, but let's walk through the ideology behind this statement that frankly many churches promote and what is actually taught by the word of God. The Bible does imply this message based on God's grace, but let's look into it. In our opening text, the word in Isaiah says, Come, now let us reason together. God is being gracious and saying, let's reason together. But the truth is, he wants us to get understanding and knowledge from him. So he expects all to come. But the expectation is to come so that our sins can be forgiven, so that we can repent before the righteous judge. Though they are red like scarlet, they will be white as snow after we finish reasoning or understanding the grace and word of God. And we see that God offers a deliverance to everyone who comes. And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be those who escape, as the Lord has said, and among the survivors shall be those whom the Lord calls. Joel 2.32 So Paul quotes the prophet Joel in Romans 10.12 For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is the Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So there is no question that in these and other verses in scripture, even though we are all sinners, God desires us to come to him as we are so that he can cleanse us. Our cleansing suggests that we are all dirty in sin and in disobedience, and we have to come in that condition to be cleansed and restored. When the teachers of the law, who were Pharisees, saw them eating with sinners and tax collectors, they asked his disciples, Why does he eat with the tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, King Jesus said to them, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous but sinners. Matthew 2, 16-17 So now we have established this truth that God desires for us to come as you are. Let's expose the lie that God does not desire for you to come as you are and stay as you are. Oh, but this is the attitude of many religions today. We call it acceptance inclusion that the bible is somehow outdated and that god is about love and he does not hate well i have news for you yes god is all about love that's why he says come and yes we must come as we are but come for salvation for redemption and for restoration Ah, uh, I know some people don't like to hear this seed today, but don't blame me. I am just declaring what my King Jesus says. Jude exposes the truth. For certain people have crept in unnoticed, who long ago were designated for this condemnation. Ungodly people who perverted the grace of our God into sensuality and deny our only Master and Lord, Jesus Christ. Jude 4.4. 4. What is he saying here? 
At times, New Age churches and religion, along with the world, take the grace of God and turn it into immorality by teaching that it makes no difference how you live. As long as you come to church and do the duties as a good, quote, Christian, this is all that is required, they say. You can still have a homosexual or adulterous relationship and still honor God as long as you continue to come as you are. Ah, the devil is a liar. Satan, we're about to expose your lies in the name of King Jesus. If you like going and participating in secret carnal societies, or you like to go to the strip club, but you rationalize that you are using these places and lifestyle to, quote, reach people for Christ, end quote. The message of the Holy Scriptures which clearly says that these things from our past lives should be left behind, along with our former places we frequent. Listen, even friends will think us strange for changing our lifestyle from the world to the kingdom. Paul notes this to the Romans, who were living lifestyles contrary to what was required of them in the kingdom. He says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in revelry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lusts. Roman 13, 12 to 14. But some of you may say, but God gave us freedom by grace. He gave us a free will to choose and love is blind. Let me ask you this question. If love is blind and can't see, can love lead you to another person's spouse? Don't answer this unless it's scriptural. So some others may say, why can't we just fulfill our worldly desires and still serve the Lord? Why is it all or nothing with you kingdom of God believers? Y'all are so narrow-minded. Ah, come on, Paul. Let them know the answer you gave to the Romans who had similar questions. For you were called to freedom, brothers. Yes, only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. But through love, serve one another. Romans 5.13 King Jesus met the woman at the well just as she was, married seven times, and living with another one who was not her husband. What did Jesus do? He addressed her sins of shacking up and then offered her forgiveness and salvation. She left the well a much different person than when she first encountered King Jesus. And finally, in Revelation 22, 16, we read, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, come. And let him who hears say, come. And let him who thirsts, come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely come as you are to king jesus but don't stay as you came much love